Hello, my name is Kanji Cody. You're on video 935, also known as BFJ225. We're making a game engine. We're making a game engine from complete scratch. It's called Atomic Ivy MMO, and it's a fully destructible fractal geometry bomb game. Or in other words, it's just it's Bomberman on fucking steroids. Source code is right here. You're on the 10-minute code review that is housed on Ninja Playlist 10 on the Ninja Coder channel. There's a one minute version of this video on Kanji Playlist 10, which is a playlist housed on the Kanji Coder YouTube channel. There's also a tech demo, like if you don't want to see the code, the code makes your brain hurt. This is kind of like the how it's made of game engine design. You want to see how the engine evolves over time? Just watch the tech demos and I won't hurt your brain with any code. If you want a one hour long full tech demo, twitch.tv slash Kanji Coder. We're on video 935, therefore, we will be looking at any line of code that has a 935 in the margins, because that is what has changed. And when I say any, uh, that's not quite correct. It is all. We're going to look at all the motherfucking lines of code that have a 935, because we are documenting the entire goddamn code base. You see all these motherfucking lines with all these motherfucking numbers? That's right. We're making a code base, and we're documenting every single goddamn motherfucking line of code like a crazy-ass motherfucker. Okay, so, in the illegal stuff section right here, uh, we have made some more monkey wrench macros, and holy crap, uh, we don't actually have official enumerations for these things yet. They're in the engine, and they exist in the engine, but I never, I, looking at it, I never formalized these things. So, in the next video after this, we're actually going to have to create new systems that formalize the V16 values for bombs, V16 values for FATA, and V16 values for uh, geometry. Not in that order. That's the wrong fucking order. The layer order goes geometry, bomb, and FATA. So we need to formalize. We need a... We need, we need a namespace. We need some formal namespaces for these things. Okay. So all of these, all of these constants are, we're not going to use them, right? They're, they're pretty good names, right? Like the monkey wrench macros are for misspellings, but they're also for like when you have like, when you have two variables and they're like contenders and you're like, this one could work, but we have to make a choice. And so these are all pretty decent names, but we're not going to fucking use them because we're going to use C underscore V16 bomb and then the bomb name here. Okay. So constant... A constant what? A V16 value. A V16 value for what? Well, maybe it's a V16 value for a spark pin. Spark for spark pin? Or pin for spark pin? Who knows, right? Maybe it's a V16 value for a laser. Or maybe it's a V16 for a jax. Or maybe it's a V16 for a box. Okay, well, what kind of spark pin? Jax spark pin? Box spark pin? Ring spark pin? Right? Jax, box, ring? Okay, what kind of laser? Ring, uh, right facing laser? Bottom facing, left facing, top facing. What kind of jacks? Bomb. Vertical exploding, horizontally exploding. Always, like a small four-way. Uh, instant kill. What kind of box bomb? Vertical, horizontal, always. Uh, instant kill. Right? These are all good names. But we're not fucking using them. Right? Um, so if we ever type this, like, six months from now, a year from now, five years from now, when we've kind of... The, the code base is super fuzzy in our head. You know, we could type these things and end up in this section of code that tells us what we were actually looking for. And that is why this section of code exists. So this V16 bomb system does not exist yet, right? So there's no actually, there's no actual C underscore this and that yet. We're gonna have to create it in the next video because we've already written too much code. So the spark pins are called sparjax, sparbox, and sparring for a jax bomb jack style explosion box style explosion and a ring style explosion that are all coming off of a spark pin okay and then for lasers it's just laser and then the direction it's going x1 y1 x0 y0 the ones mean positive and the zeros mean negative in the context of this right uh the jacks bombs jacks to a vertical jacks to a horizontal jacks four-way jacks instant kill Box bomb, same idea. Box bomb to a vertical, to a horizontal, box four-way, box instant kill. Boxy kill, right? Um, so why why did I decide that I don't fucking like these and then I want to use these instead? Well, it has to do with kind of visual parsing of the information. Um, now, right here, you can kind of tell that these are these are single singular ideas, 
But once these tokens become part of like longer lookup tables, having this underscore in the middle is just going to hurt us in, in terms of code legibility. So we're gonna use these names rather than these names. Okay, down here in this holy crap, these never existed section, which is very similar, we have some more disallowed names. So this namespace is, is obviously very long, right? C underscore V16 bomb, and then our different bomb names. It is tempting to use these shorter names, right? Const V16, and then the V16 name, right? I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that, but I have so many goddamn, like, uh, non-namespace constants in this engine that it's getting out of hand, and I think we need to be a little bit more organized about it. Now, it's a trade-off, though, right? Because it is nice to have these names where they're not that, they're not that long, right? Um, but remember that as the project gets bigger and bigger and bigger, we really want to have a more proper namespacing on things. Um, because in the, in the long run, in the long run, this, in the long run, longer, longer names are probably going to be better than these names for these kind of constants in the engine. I do like very terse short code, though, so this is very tempting, but we're not going to fucking use these. We're going to resist temptation and use C underscore V16 bomb system and then the different bomb enumerations. Okay, so that is it. That is it for the monkey wrench macros. We have more code, though. We have more code. Oh, God, I don't want to fucking record this again. Okay, bomb area constants. Okay, bomb area constants. We have some hacks that are going to help us run some unit tests to make sure the basic game mechanics for our bomb explosions are set up the correct way. So we have constant bomb area system. Low for lowercase, right? Low for lowercase. And high for higher case or uppercase. Um, maybe I should have called it like up, right? Lowercase and uppercase, but instead I said high for higher case, which is kind of fucking weird. But I get why I did it, because it's like low and high. So why did I do that? Well, it's because according to the rules of my engine, according to the rules of my engine, all variables are supposed to be all lowercase. So I so it, and then mixing case mixing cases is like an even greater sin. Like mixing cases in an ident an identifier, that's like a fucking felony in my code base. You don't fucking do that, okay? Um, so we can't just make this capital V, capital H, capital F, and capital I. We have to say higher case in these letters, and then lower case in the exact same letters. We're gonna have to do that. And what are all of these? Well. This is for a um, uh, spark jacks bomb. This is for a box jacks bomb. This is for a ring shaped bomb, but it's C because we already have R for laser box, right? Uh, actually, not R for laser box. Well, yes, R for a laser, but right facing laser, down facing laser, left facing laser, up facing laser, right? And then we have vertical. Horizontal four way instant kill jax bombs, vertical, horizontal, four way, and instant kill box bombs. So these values, all these values are, are we, we're taking the V16 values. We're taking the V16 values of our bombs and we're multiplying those V16 values by 10, right? So if we take 1 through 15 for our non zero V16 bomb values, then we get 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Why am I doing this? Well, it's a little it's a little hackish thing for this idea of how I want to set up my unit test. Let's go down to the next section, okay? Okay, bomb area, but this is the bomb area mutable data. Now, this exists in another section, so um, let's search backwards for a second, second because we should be highlighting this, right? We're in data by system. And then uh, that other code I looked at, I think was in const by system, right? Yeah, this was in const by system. So let's highlight that as well. Okay, so, so we have const by system for all of our const data for all the different subsystems. And then we have data by system for all like the mutable data or like complex non-mutable data goes in the data section. So in const by system, if we scroll down far enough, right, we get to the bomb area constant data. 
which we've already gone over, but I wanted you to get your bearings as to like where this is in the entire code base. So then, data by system, same concept, but it's mutable data or immutable data that's more complicated than a simple C99 constant, right? So in data by system, we have the bomb area constants, and we have made some uh, little tiny 16 by 16 grids, right? 16 by 16 is 256, and we're using this helper function, function array of uint eights. And we're using this to create a mini tile map. So this is a mini zeroed out tile map that we're gonna use to perform unit tests to make sure that our bombs have the correct explosion shape. So data, bomb area, unit test array, and this is the uh, input. This is the input, yeah, I don't know, we could use a better post fix, but we'll just call this input for now, okay? And then uh, right here, uh, these letters and numbers should look very similar to you because they're they're the same exact numbers for a reason. Eventually, you want to run like a little unit test to sanity check these values, and they are one single letter for a fucking reason, and you'll see why later down, right? But you can see J, B, C for uh, Jax Bomb, Spark, uh, Tiny Little Jax Bomb of Spark Pin Jax Bomb, Spark Pin Box Bomb, Spark Pin uh, Ring, but R is used for the lasers, right? These are our lasers, the different directions for our lasers, right? Right, down, left, and up. And then vertical, horizontal, four-way, and instant kill Jax Bombs. Vertical, horizontal, four-way, and instant kill Box Bombs, but it's capital instead of lowercase, right? Scrolling down, uh, this underscore is 255. And also, we made a note that we are breaking patterns here, right? Variables. Variables should never be uppercase. That is breaking the rules of my engine. We're breaking the rules of my engine. Okay, so this right here, bomb area, unit test array, spark. So what we're doing here is we're making a little tile map, and we're kind of visualizing how the spark pin should explode. And what we'll do is we'll load this into memory, and we'll go through every single value in here, and we'll dig out the C, J, and B, and try to emit an explosion from those, and then use this to cross-check and see if this, the, our mini simulation gets this pattern, right? So... We'll pull out, so we'll, we'll scan through this, we'll pull out C, J, and B in its position, try to emulate the correct explosion, and then see if that emulation yields exactly this kind of pattern, or a pattern with a similar shape, right? And then here we have unit test lasers, right? So we're going to use this data to spawn a right, down, left, and up-facing laser box onto a mini tile map, do a little mini simulation, and make sure that the output gets this shape, right? And then bomb area unit test uh, unit test array jacks. We're gonna use this little tiny tile map to spawn four bombs, instant kill, vertical, horizontal, and four-way. Spawn four bombs on a mini tile map, run a tiny simulation, and hope that the output is kind of this shape, right? And then uh, data bomb area unit test array box. Box bombs. We're gonna seek through all this data in our test, and pull out I, V, H, and F, and then run a mini simulation and make sure that the outcome of the mini simulation is creating these kind of shapes, right? Um, and then uh, right here, we're doing a little sanity check, right? So these little shorthand uh, variables, we wanna make sure that they're equal to constant bomb area, and then the low and high, uh, higher case letters and these are the different letters in lowercase and higher case, right? And they need to be, this just needs to be equal to make sure that our diagram is set up correctly. Otherwise, if, if it's not equal, then, then we throw an error, right? Okay, let's go down to the next section. Hopefully that's it. Okay, yeah, yeah what we did previously, and then we got our footnotes and stuff, and we're running out of time here. So in the next video, we're probably gonna have to create three different subsystems. I don't have time, just pause this to fucking read it, because we, yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Okay, you've been on the 10 minute code review, and it's on Ninja Playlist 10 on the Ninja Coder channel. A one minute version of this video is on Kanji Playlist 10 on the Kanji Coder channel. Tech demos only are here on Weebo Playlist 10. Source code for this video is here. Ways to get a hold of me. The licenses do whatever the fuck you want, okay? So, license right here. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I can do whatever the fuck I want, right? It's a free country, all right. So, my name is Kanji Coder and I'm making a game engine and I don't know what screen I'm supposed to stop on. Yeah, that screen. I'm getting out of here. I'm making a Bomberman MMO, and you need to like and subscribe. My name is Kanji Coder.